who's that? She's pretty. She's <laughs> dead, Frank. Apparently, this 80-year-old grandmother was watching your Scrooge promo last night, and she just, she just keeled over. It scared her to death. This is terrific! I knew that had worked! You can't buy publicity like this! Ah! Excuse me. Mr. Cross, you need it on the set. I want that promo run every half hour. I want a disclaimer at the top. Anyone with a heart condition must leave the room! Will do, Frank. Hey, where were we? Well, I was being haunted. Okay. No, oh, it's got to be real gold. No, they go through. I don't understand. You can't do can't this at the 11. Anybody no. to do what I want them to do. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Cross. I am the censor, and I will not allow this costume on the air. Why not? Well, specifically, you can see her nipples. I want to see her nipples. But this is a Christmas show. Well, Charles Dickens would have wanted to see her nipples then. Uh. You can, uh, you can hardly see them nipples. See, and these guys are really looking. You can go shake a tail feather. Thanks. And thank you. You can just go. Oh, watch out. Ah! Thanks, boys. Get the nurse. Get, get, get the nurse. Get the nurse. Make sure her nipples are covered up, will you? Lumpy. Lumpy. I... I'm sorry to just... Well, I didn't get your message until this morning, and I, I tried to call, but they said that you weren't... you weren't in yet, and then I tried to call back, and they said that you were busy, so I just... God, you look different. Well, it's been a while. It's your hair. I I've never seen it so short. It makes you look sort of... grown up. Yo, Frank, Frank, I mean, Mr. Cross, uh, check this out, man. Girls are tough, it's on the money. Check it, come on. <clears throat> Would you excuse me for a moment, please? Can I turn her in? No. Uh, All right, that works, see? Boom, uh, uh, little booty here for you. See? Show me a nipple. See, you just had to see it in context. Uh, you? Move her, please. Thanks. Allie. Is she going to be all right? Oh, yeah. She's a real pro. She's very professional. Oh, what about you? you? You sounded like you'd seen a ghost. A ghost? You mean the phone call last night? I came across your number, and I just had to call you immediately. I know you, Lumpy. I know that voice. That was the frightened Lumpy I heard. Excuse me, Lumpy. Around these parts, most people call me Miss Across. I'm sorry. I'm new here, and I got a problem. I bet. What? I, well, my problem is, Miss Little Fella. Oh. I can't get the antlers glued onto this little guy. We've tried crazy glue, but it don't work. Have you tried staples? Staples? Don't you dare. If you staple that little mouse, I'll call the Humane Society. I'm not kidding. I wouldn't do anything in the world to hurt this little fella. Hey, Marley, Perkins. The road. I have three dogs and oh, a cat at a home. Oh, beautiful story. Tell Reader's Digest, will you? Staples. Same old Claire. Still trying to save the world. You still trying to run it? <laughs> hip hop, hip hop, let's go. Get out of here! You called me. Who are you, anyway? You little worm. Who are you? How'd you get in here? Well, maybe you'll answer some questions downtown, huh, my friend? What the hell is going on? This is my little boy. All right, you beat him. Does he work here? No, he does not. I thought it would be fun for him to see a live television show. You see anybody having fun here?